Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from the fabulous diamond painting shop with two P's and an E. And this was one of a few different kits that were actually sent over to me by Rosa, the owner over there, to share with you guys because they recently added some amazing sparkly new 100% resin square drills. So uh, the kit that I have to share with you all today is another from their Jasmine Beckett Griffith collection. I believe this one is called Releasing Fireflies, and she is just so moody and adorable, and I love it. I love it. Now, I have completed a kit from Diamond Painting Shop, actually back during summer with the Masters last year. It was one of the large Alphonse Mucha panels, and I was incredibly happy with how it turned out. So I will link to that video below, uh, but I just, I really, really love the quality on Diamond Painting Shop's products. And I will try to give you as authentic and honest and unbiased an opinion as I can here. But of course, I always like to be completely transparent about if kits have been sent to me. So anyway, um, this is the packaging for the box. Now they did send uh, this cute little like toolkit little bundle that was in the, the cardboard box that it shipped in. There's a couple of rolls of washi tape in here some Smarties that my kids are totally gonna swipe. Uh, the print will vary on the washi tape and I have a whole video dedicated to how exactly I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. I'll link to that below in case you wanna see. But here's a business card from Diamond Painting Shop with a discount code. You can follow them on their socials and whatnot for new releases. They did send some stickers, so, so fun. <laughs> And I believe there are going to be the other parts of the toolkit inside the box. So we'll take a look. We will take a look together. So on the box itself, by the way, as I'm opening it up, there is some info including uh, what is included in your kit written out here, some instructions, uh, some acknowledgments here, and really important with each order you place, you support an artist. So all of the artists that Diamond Painting Shop uses the artwork of, uh, they've gotten the permission of those artists or it's part of the public domain because Jasmine Beckett Griffith has a lot of artwork um, in the public domain as part of a, a public domain project that she's doing. So I think this may be one of those, but they have a wide variety of public domain and legally licensed artwork as well. So, oh, look at that glow on her hair and in her eyes. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. So let's take a quick look. It looks like the sticker sheet did roll up here and get caught on the drills. That is not a big deal. Actually glad to see it was not the part that had the pre-cut stickers. So this is an easy fix. We're just going to peel that off. We're just going to lay that back down and we are none the worse for the wear. So really quick though, let me show you. We do have a basic toolkit in here that includes a, we've got a, tr a basic white tray. And we have a pair of tweezers. Keep that cover on, because I believe these are the stabby variety. <laughs> and then we've got a pen and a basic pen. And we have a couple of plastic multi-placers that you can pop those into the end if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time, which I recommend for saving a little time once you kind of get in the swing of it. And then we have some blue wax. So everything you're gonna need to do your diamond painting. We'll look at the diamonds together later. It did come with this sticker sheet, which again, none the worse for the wear here. That's not a big deal. Uh, Releasing Fireflies is the name of this artwork. Jasmine Beckett Griffith is the artist. Yep, Strangeling Public Domain Project. I recommend looking into that a little bit if you haven't already. It's really fascinating. It's this, it's this whole thing that Jasmine Beckett Griffith is kind of trying out and experimenting with in the art world. So there's the beautiful original artwork. I'll probably cut this out and put this in my paper logbook. The size on this one, 19.7 by 25.6 inches or 50 by 65 centimeters square with AB drills. You guys, like I said, this has their brand new resin squares. I'm so excited to try one of these out. I've heard wonderful things. Uh, over here, we do have a set of, these are pre-cut stickers for you. It looks like we're gonna have a total of 51 colors, which I, I think that's a good number of colors to have. <laughs> and then uh, the number that you see in the right-hand column, this is actually the DMC color code. That's where that particular numbering system comes from. Most diamond painting companies use the DMC color code. 
Uh, so those colors will be the same across the board, though of course the symbols are going to vary a bit. It looks like this kit is gonna have some ABs in it, like they mentioned, one, two, three, four, five, six ABs in total. We will be sure to take a look at those. Looking at the symbols written out, we've got a mix of alphanumeric and non-alphanumeric, and they look pretty easy to read. I didn't have any trouble reading the symbols on the canvas that I have completed from Diamond Painting Shop. And at first glance on the canvas, they look to be printed crystal, crystal clear. I'll show you up close in just a bit. First, I wanna take you on a little tour of the canvas. Up here at the top, there's their name, Diamond Painting Shop. Create art that makes you smile. We have some scalloped and finished edges here, so we're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. The backing on the canvas is this soft lint material. It's laying flat really nicely though. I'm not seeing any creases or folds. It's one of the thicker materials of soft lint, and I do like that. They use poured glue on their canvases, which usually if a canvas has a clear cover like this, that means that the adhesive you'll be working with is poured glue. Definitely my preferred adhesive to work with because it's very forgiving and um, it holds the drills really well, but it lets you kind of adjust them a little bit when they're down if, if you need to. Um, again, this is gonna have square drills. Uh, but I like that we don't have dark lines, you know, dark grid lines or anything. Up here at the top left, we do have the thumbnail and a schematic, this legend here with all 51 colors. We have the same thumbnail and schematic over here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, there's the thumbnail, a little bit bigger, releasing fireflies, the artist's name, and the licensing information here. Not all of Jasmine Beckett Griffith's artwork is part of her public domain project. This one I am positive is, but just FYI. Now, uh, here's the size again. And then over here at the, excuse me, right over here at the bottom right is info about their socials. They have Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And uh, I'm guessing that is a typo. I'm going to let them know about that if you're going to use the hashtag Diamond Painting Shop. And yeah, join over the over on the Instagram community for sure to see what other people are working on. So here's a look at the canvas. You can see that it's printed very, very clearly. Diamond Painting Shop does have their images hand charted, so hopefully there's gonna be a minimum of unnecessary confetti, which at first glance, it looks like there is not unnecessary confetti. Unnecessary confetti is when there's just like really a random mix of colors uh, that just doesn't always totally make sense, but this looks a little cleaner. We do have some confetti that will probably help as far as detail goes. Um, we can see it even a little bit just kind of at the ends of her hair maybe. Confetti is when you have a lot more color changes in a small area, so you'll mostly be single placing uh, and be changing out the color in your trays a bit more often. But what I like to see is that this canvas also has some color blocking. Color blocking, here's a good example, is when you have larger uh, bits of the same color in a small area. So you'll be able to multi-place and have that color in your tray for longer, and it generally goes faster. I like to have a nice mix of both confetti and color blocking in my painting because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. I really love how clearly these symbols are printed. I'm really here for that because there's nothing as frustrating as symbols that you have to really like strain your eyes to read. And that is not going to be the case at all with this painting, which yeah, you never know, especially when you've got like darker colors like this. So let's do a measurement and see if we are true to size. We're measuring just the drill field here, not the whole canvas. We're at almost 65 centimeters, just a tick shy of that, which is what it is listed as. And then this way, we are at just a tick shy of 50 centimeters, which is what it is listed as. So I'm calling that true to size. I always give companies at least a centimeter of wiggle room when it comes to dimensions, because some of it just has to do with the printing on the drill field or on the canvas. So totally calling that true to size. I really like what I'm seeing of the canvas. It's consistent with the quality, if not even better, honestly. Uh, and the quality of the first kit that I worked on from them, which did have round drills and was from one of their early runs, um, was still really excellent. So this looks fantastic. Let's look at these diamonds though. I wanna get a closer look at these resin squares. There's that color spread. Do you spy the a one of the ABs that we're gonna have in this kit? Love that one. Uh, we do have the model number, or like kind of the inventory number here. Let me see, where is that listed on here? Here we go. Yeah, they call it the model number. 
So here it says that DP, uh, DT, DDPS AB004, it matches up there. So if you store this separate from the can, these separately, outside of the box they came in, they should be easy to match up. You can also just grab a Sharpie and write the name, like releasing fireflies on there. Okay. All right, let's take a good look here. So as I mentioned, these are new resin squares to their shop. I, I strongly prefer resin to acrylic, especially when it comes to squares. Uh, the difference is that resin squares tend to be much more consistent in quality and size. They're usually more shiny. Um, there's usually not as much trash. And to me, trash drills are when you have drills that have little like tabs sticking off the side or lots of like concave drills. It's mostly the ones that have the tabs or irregular in size. The reason that's a problem is because square drills sit up really tight next to each other. There's not really any wiggle room. Whereas with round drills, there's usually a little bit of wiggle room because they're not literally sitting in a super tight grid. So if you have inconsistently sized square drills or square drills that have little tabs sticking off again at the end, which if you look, you can see the bases on these look very clean cut, very flat. You don't see bits and bobs hanging off the end. Um, then they're gonna sit tight if they're clean. If they're not, they're gonna press up against each other and then they'll pop because there's no space. And so they'll literally pop, like an edge will pop off the canvas. If you run your hand over it, then often like drills will, will come off because your hand will catch on them and pull them off. By the way, let me show you on these bags. <laughs> so I was just showing you the colors, but there's stickers on each of them. And this top number right here, like 823 there, is uh, the DMC color code. And sometimes we do have multiple bags of the same color. 16.55 is the number of ounces. So that is what those numbers on this bag mean. And I will show you the ABs last. I know I just have those big, big chunks staying there. I just wanna show you the colors first. Some really pretty greens, lots of blues and browns. Kind of across the board, I, I am seeing really consistent looking squares. It's hard to tell for sure until you actually have drills down on the canvas and see how they fit together. But just making a decent guess, I think these look pretty good. Oh, we have some more ABs. Did I miss one? I think I missed one. One, two. Oh no, there it is. Okay. And we have some purples at here at the end, some purples and pinks. All right, let me show you these ABs and explain just in case you are newer to diamond painting. So here we have some colors that are called ABs. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These get the na their name from the Northern Lights. And just like the Northern Lights have a really super shimmery color shift effect, so too does that beautiful coating on these diamonds. Uh, it's kind of an iridescent vibe. Some of them are more bold than others, like this purple is really bold, but this green is maybe a little more subtle. So sometimes it looks a lot like the base color. Sometimes it has a lot more variation in that coating. Uh, this, these two big bags that we have here of a 310 AB. Now this is, this is one of those ABs that is really incredibly striking and can have a gorgeous effect. So even though the base on these is 310, which is just black, you can see that the tops of these are so, 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 so bold. Uh, their oil slick is kind of the effect I feel like they have. There's greens, yellows, pinks, uh, purples. It's striking. Uh, I feel like charted in the right places, it can be really, really gorgeous. So we do have a lot of this 310 AB. We will take a look through here and I'll point out where those have been charted. And then we have this pretty yellow AB 444. Four, four. Is this a 550? Yep, this is a 550 AB, pretty royal purple. And then we have this aqua 3766. And then this 907 and 701, these green ABs. So let's take a look together and see. I'm guessing, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, I think that maybe our fireflies are going to have some ABs. So yes, uh, right off the bat, 
each of these little firefly, these little motes of light does have that pretty yellow AB around the border. The sides of the jar does as well. There's the yellow AB and then yeah, each around the fireflies. A little bit of highlighting on her kneecap or her knee here. And I think the edge this is like the edge of her dress and here and here. And then a little bit of this highlight in her hair. There's like two lines of that yellow AB. And this firefly over here has some yellow ABs. And then a little bit in her eyes, yellow ABs here and here. And then a couple in this firefly and these three dots. Then we've got, let's see, our aqua AB is some of this light blue, just a tiny bit, just like a half dozen each time, doing some light highlighting. And then when we get up here, this light blue area is AB. Yep. And then some of these light blue areas are ABs and here, and then oh, not the lightest blue up here, but parts of the, mi the middle light blue are ABs. And then we've got, where are our green ABs going to be? So we have two, those are the two symbols. Okay, so the lighter green AB is actually in some of these like marsh areas. And the, actually the darker green AB is as well, doing some highlighting around these like lily pads and in these branches. Ooh, and the branches of this plant down here is the darker green AB. Yeah, the darker green AB is doing some highlighting in the plants. This strand in her hair is actually a light green AB. That light green AB is pretty, they're pretty light handed with that one. I think that's all that I'm seeing. Sorry if I just bumped you. And then we have our purple AB and our black AB. So our royal purple AB doing some really pretty outlining and highlighting in her dress. Now that's a bold color, so that's really gonna pop. I'm seeing the purple AB there and there. Over on this side as well, some of the purple AB. I don't really see it in her bodice. It's mostly in the folds of her dress on the sides. Now that black AB that we have just oodles of. So. I see a lot of it. There's some outlining right here. Now keep in mind, this is gonna have that oil slick effect. It's gonna be um, striking. You're really gonna see it. It's gonna, it's gonna pop a little bit right here in the jar, up here in the jar, right here on the side of her arm where it meets her dress. And then, oh, there's a lot in her hair. Okay. Let's see, okay, so highlighting here, and it, you guys, yeah, lots and lots of outlining and highlighting in her hair. What color is the other color in her hair? H, which is 3371, that's a dark brown. So we're gonna have a dark brown next to this color. I might try it because this has such a glowy effect and there are a lot of these colors with the purples in her dress, the greens and blues in the background. I think I'm gonna try it, but if I don't like the effect, because there is a lot of it in her hair, like a lot, um, yeah, it's all through. Hi it's, it's where you'd expect highlights in hair, honestly, and kind of framing her face on either side. There's a bit, her eyebrows have it, and, and right here, parts of her, her eye do. Uh, so I'm gonna try it, and if I don't like the effect, but I feel like it takes away from the artwork, I have a lot of black three tendrils, just it, leftovers in my, in my leftover drill storage. So I can pick and choose, I suppose, if I don't necessarily like how this has been charted, um, especially because there's so much in her hair, because this color is gonna be right up next to this brown 3371. I don't know. I honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I want to give it a try. Uh, these colors in her hair, are those blues? There's like streaks of, I think that those are blues. So maybe that will work because it is going to be up against these blue colors. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I have to say that I do like for sure, I like all of the other AB colors, but that 310 AB is always a little bit of a question mark and you don't always know until it's down and different people are going to have different opinions. So uh, don't let that stop you from getting this painting whatsoever because I think that uh, it could look really, really incredibly beautiful and it's a very, very easy swap to make if 
you don't necessarily like the effect, but I don't want to write it off at all. I just want to wanted to point it out to you. That's something that I noticed because I know some people have strong feelings on it, but you guys, this is releasing fireflies from diamond painting shop and artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This is a very beginner friendly size. I feel at 50 by 65 centimeters and Jasmine Beckett Griffith's artwork is really hauntingly beautiful. And this I think would be a really lovely piece to work on. I feel like this has a little bit of summer vibe like with the fireflies and everything. Um, but I don't think you have to wait till summer to work on it because the colors are so pretty and the artwork looks beautiful. And I have to say once again that I just am really incredibly impressed by what I'm seeing of diamond painting shops quality the quality on the canvas the glue the drill field the drill quality that i'm seeing the charting like everything just looks very top notch so i would highly encourage you to go and take a look at their website see the amazing variety of artwork that they have to offer they have a lot of old masters they have a lot of jazz from becky griffith but they also have like some really beautiful landscapes and fantasy artwork there's there's a lot to, that they have to offer so definitely go and take a look. I bet you'll find something that really does catch your eye. Um, I'm not an affiliate for them, but I was sent these kits for uh, review and to share with you guys. And um, I did try to be super honest, but uh, I loved getting to share this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Rosa for sending it over. Their new square drills, just looking at them in the bag, look amazing. I definitely want to work on one of these very, very soon because I think that it's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to be gorgeous and those squares are going to be a dream to work with. So I'm going to let you guys go. I will link directly to this kit as well as to Diamond Painting Shop's socials and whatnot. Go take a look at what they have to offer. I bet you'll find something that you really love. And yeah, you guys, if you want to see a lot more diamond painting content from me, including feature unboxings, I post reviews of all the kits that I finish and stuff like that. And uh, whip and chest, all sorts of stuff. Feel free to hit the subscribe button just down below. And there's a bell you can also hit to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your day and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.